to get your hair right. <laughs> she hot <hope> crunch! <laughs> Hiya, sorry. Uh, my name's Cher. Um, unlike Rio, I don't have cerebral palsy. I'm your second last act, so I'm actually pissed at this point. <laughs> um, do you know what? I knew signing up for this was going to be terrifying. Mainly because everybody else here is actually funny. Um, but this process has taught me that I'm just surrounded by people that laugh at me and no with me. Um, anyway, I'm sorry I'm getting distracted. I do that quite a lot. Have we got any parents in the audience? Parents of young children? Woo! Woo! You're definitely a parent of a young child. You look fucking knackered. That's, that's how I feel right now. Um, but do you know what? Like, tell me this. Are Wayne's getting weirder? Or is it just me? Like, my Wayne can smell if I've changed the love pack to North Pack before the toast has even touched her lips. <laughs> and, like, I can't, I can't even blame her because I'm a mum and I'm not exactly what you would call sane. Over the past couple of years, I've had more psychotic episodes than she's had because her ice cream's cold or because another Wayne has looked at her. Or because she's fired an imaginary gun and missed her target. <laughs> but, in all seriousness, you can take it from me, anybody that tells you psychosis is no laughing matter, I it fucking is. <laughs> Since my breakdowns, I've realised that I've got more per personalities than my mom's got safe places for all the shit I've lost over the years. <laughs> and, in the midst of it, I caught fleas. I actually caught fleas. The wee fuckers would follow me about, biting me, mocking me. No, my doctor thinks I'm daft. She told me they were on my head. It was fleas, I had no fucking nuts. And to top that off, I've come up with this recovery plan for myself. Signing up for events like this. Putting myself out my comfort zone, which, Sounds like a good idea until recently I snapped at a period of complete dissociation to realise I'd signed myself up for an MMA cage fight. <laughs> <laughs> now, not only am I mental, I'm also a bit delusional, so I thought they'll just pair me with another wee short arse shite bag like myself. <laughs> uh, nah. Here you go, there's a 10 foot kickboxer that knows a wire in a cage. Enjoy that one. But I had an experience. Like I said, I'm a fucking shite bag. And I was that unfit and overweight that I couldn't leave the house in high heels without coming home in fucking flip flops. It was, it was unreal. So you can imagine how this fight went. Round one, I think I done all right. Done all right. Round two. Different story. She was coming in to end it. Crack. She smacked me that hard, I flew across the mat, slid down the cage, like a fucking rag doll being tossed off the wall. Play deed, share, play deed. Nah. I bounce back up again. While I'm trying to focus on what Wanny Hart to go for, <laughs> for some reason something happened, I'm still not quite sure what, something happened, I found myself back on the mat, but this time, in a chokehold, I could not breathe. And all I heard was <laughs> Now, at the time, I thought that was nothing more than a couple of shite bag pimps. <laughs> <laughs> was it fuck? Two hemorrhoids the fucker squeezed at me. <laughs> I still I feel like I've got two wee bits of sweet corn stuck between my bum cheeks. <laughs> my asshole looks like that wee neglected bunch of purple grapes in your granny's fruit bowl that named you go near and she'll still no throw out. But regardless, there's method in my madness. I went through a really hard time and I'll still continue to put myself through things and try new things and push myself out my comfort zone because I'm calling this my creative recovery. My therapist still calls it self-harm. 
But listen, Draggy, Dear Mayor, Dear Mary, what makes you happy? Dear Mary, what makes you fucking scared? Just try more things. You'll no regret it, I promise you. My name's Cher, and it's been an absolute pleasure.